good afternoon, good night, whatever time it is. What time is it? 7.40, good night. Welcome back to another video. Right now, we're gonna do five things I hate about that car. Right, so the first thing I do not like about this car at all, like at all, like it's a negative, is the interior quality. This shit is terrible. Look at this, look at this. First off, don't mind my tint, okay? But look at that. Look at that. I could just... The quality is terrible. Horrible on everything. The plastic, it just doesn't feel like a quality sports car. But that's number one. So the second thing that I do not like about this car would probably be the door handles. If anybody knows about 350Zs, these things, they break so easily. I had that issue a long time ago. But another cheap thing that I think Nissan really failed on with this car. So the third thing that I do not like about this car is the ankle eater doors. As you just seen, actually no, I'm gonna put that in right now. Look, watch this clip. That that kind of like just shows you how this car does with the doors. I don't know if they're like too heavy or what. Don't like it, do not like it. Check that off the list. Do not like it. Number four, the fourth thing I do not like about this car whatsoever would be the oil burning. Well, that's on like the VQ platform. The DEs mostly. I mean, I haven't dealt with it too much. I just deal with oil leaks because, you know, VQ. But uh, Brooks car definitely burns oil. I don't like VQs for that reason. Not this car specifically because I've never really had the issue of burning oil. But that is something to look out for if you are getting into this platform. Fifth thing I do not like about this car, come on yonder, would probably be the space. There's not too much space to work with in here, which also you'll see in the next video. That's kind of like something I do like. And I'll explain that in the next video. So stay tuned for five things I love about my Nissan 350Z because I do love this car. I'm not just going to talk shit about it. Also, trunk space. That kind of coincides with interior space you can't fit nothing in there i remember when i got this car it had subwoofers in it guy took the whole entire trunk interior out just to put subs in it hello there's enough space to fit me back there and that's about it and that's only because i do not have a full trunk interior at the moment i don't have anything else and that's the only reason that you can fit me in there i'm a pretty big boy Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you could go down below, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, stay tuned for the next video of five things I do love about this car. We'll be posting that somewhat soon. we got to film that still. I want to do a daytime. I have an idea. Trevor knows my idea. And Trevor's the filmer. Shout out my filmer. You're welcome. I'm freezing my hands for this. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Pretty cold. we got Andrew. I'm freezing. I'm not doing anything. In and we got cut. broke in the cut in the cut you know the yeah vibes. but uh thank you guys so much for watching this video like i said if you could go down below please like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video big shot everybody get like they some big talk let me show you how you could get picked up bad bitch in the back with no ring on who is here when i get up get down living like this till my time's gone and i'm in the infinite time zone everybody act like they son everybody talk like